What's up guys, welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Today we're here in the fish room making fish food for the 300 gallon reef as well as the frag system. Now, there's going to be a little bit of background noise with the overflow that I'm adjusting from the new frag tanks, which you guys will see later on. But uh, other than that, it should be pretty decent for audio quality. Now, uh, in this video, we're going to be combining a bunch of different ingredients that I picked up locally uh, at the uh, grocery store, at the uh, that fish place in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and the uh, local Petco about two and a half miles away. Now, I like to go ahead and make my own fish food. And I talked about this in a previous video because I want to bring everything that I uh, feed the fish on a weekly basis together. I want to be able to add some vitamins to that to make them healthy as well as it takes care of the coral. And I want to grind it with the meat grinder to get it to really fine particles. That way, when I feed the fish, not only does it take care of the fish, but it also takes care of all the coral uh, in both of the system. So it's kind of like a daily coral feeding, but also taking care of the fish. It's really high in nutrients, really high in phosphates with the um, nori here, which takes care of the tank, and it just works out really well. So let's go ahead and dive in, and I'll show you guys everything that I got for this uh, batch of uh, fish food. All right, so let's go to start off with the Reef Plus multivitamin. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, I used to dose this as is to the reef tank before I moved over to the Aqua Vitro Fuel. And uh, this stuff was just left over. Um, it works really well. I had no issues with it. I just wanted an additional element that I was getting in the fuel. So that's why I made the switch. And uh, yeah, so it's meant to go with food or just to be dosed in the reef tank. Now, I don't have a set amount that I put in the food. It just really depends on how much is actually at the end. And then, of course, I'll add this last to really uh, kind of fine tune it. So uh, we're gonna be adding the reef vitamin. Of course, because of all the tangs, we're gonna be adding nori. Um, I have two packs of this, we're probably gonna add both packs uh, because I like to have a lot of nori in my food. It also supplies the right amount of phosphates for the reef tank. Um, after a week of not feeding this food, not only are the fish pissed off, but the uh, nutrient levels in the tanks, the tanks have actually dropped to zero and it's really because of not um, adding enough food. So uh, yeah, moving over, we have our uh, mysa shrimp. I picked this up at that fish place in bigger quantities. Now you'll notice that I have more mysa shrimp than I picked up at Petco, but this was a pretty good deal. I think it was like, I don't know, 14, 15 bucks. And I've been just feeding this throughout the week. You can see I'm missing some uh, just to the fish to keep them kind of going. And uh, so we'll be adding that. Next we have krill, it's pretty good stuff. Moving over, we have our um, calamari. It's raw, frozen. Picked this up at the local uh, Giant, which is their grocery store here. Of course, uh, frozen octopus. You guys have seen me make this stuff for Reggie, the snowflake eel. This time, we're gonna be grinding it up, so it's gonna be a lot finer particles. Let me get on the other side of the camera here. Now, of course, we have, uh, get out of the light, we have more mysa shrimp. We have some blood worms now. This is more of a freshwater fish type of food, but I like to add them. It does add a little bit more nutrients to the tank, and of course it mixes up, and it's good for them. We have uh, brine shrimp, two packs of that. We have fish eggs. Again, we got that at Petco. We have uh, silver sides. Now, this will be my first time grinding these up to add to the fish food. Again, it's going to be extra nutrients. Um, the fish seem to like them when they were just being fed as is to Reggie, so we're going to try that this time. We have uh, fresh, but now they're frozen uh, scallops. I want to make sure everything's frozen to kind of keep it frozen during this process. So we have about, uh, I don't know, a pound or so of scallops, Maybe something like that, I'll have to see. Um, and then we have some fresh shrimp that I just froze and about a pound of that as well. So uh, this is what we're going to be adding. So let me get everything out and we start cutting it up and start grinding it and getting it ready to uh, be packaged. Okay, so when it comes to preparing the food for the grinder, uh, your goal is to get it as close to the size of the hole as you can. That way it just gets in there, you can get it ground up as quickly as possible and keep it as cold as possible. Now, because I'm making the video, things are gonna thaw out a little bit more than usual, but you're, you don't really want things to completely thaw out because it will go bad at that point. So uh, your best bet is just to do it as quickly as possible, get it in the grinder, get it packaged up and back into the freezer. So uh, let's go to start with the silver sides. Now, um, I'm just gonna kind of break these up into chunks. See, it pretty much comes out pretty close to the opening there. So we're just gonna um, adjust it, throw it into our little pot there. Probably should just open it this way. Again, you wanna do this as quickly as possible. You don't really wanna be pissing around with it um, because you want it to stay frozen. So go there. And I, was, uh, I decided to do it on this table this time because I made a hell of a mess upstairs uh, last time I did this. And I do this about every uh, three months or so. I, I tend to sell quite a bit of it locally. 
Um, so I make my money back because it is pretty expensive. You can see exactly what ingredients we have here. It's not the cheapest thing to make, but it's really healthy. It's good for the, the fish. And of course, I do sell it locally, so I tend to make the majority of my money back. Now, right here we have, I think these are the scallops. And we'll find out. Yeah, they are. So they are rock hard, which is good. So and those came in fresh, so. Watch me split my table in half doing this. I can feel it flexing. That'd be a hell of a video. <clears throat> All right, so again, we're just looking for pretty much getting to the grinder. It's pretty easy to get in there. And having a sharp knife really helps. All right, moving over to the shrimp. Maybe. Now I'm just going to leave all the tails and all that stuff on there. I'm not really interested in messing with all that. Um, basically just going to chop it up like the scallops. Just be careful because, you know, they are falling apart and you don't want to slip and cut your damn fingers off. So. Second rule. And don't tell the fish. Alright, so all that will fit into the grind pretty good. So we'll get that in the bowl. Okay, so moving over to the octopus. I figured we'd do the hardest stuff first. That way if I'm gonna break the table, it would be early on. And I'll have less less stuff open at that point. This was my issue. This was the one I had a hard time cutting up last time, so I might have to take it to the floor and fast forward it because this was a pain last time. Work with the machete out. We can do that. So I'd be interested. Does anybody else do this? for their uh, fish tank. We found it to be cost effective. Do you find better, uh, happier fish, healthier fish? Do you find better coral growth? I'd be interested if anybody else does this because it's been a while since I made the last video and uh, I'm sure people have tried it. So it's always good to know what, what people get out of the content. That's one thing that I don't you know, hear too much of is when somebody tries something that I do or recommend, how it turns out for them. Because I know every tank is different. And that's one thing I never hear is kind of how things are working for them. So these are going to be perfect little slices. Yeah, these are perfect. And they're frozen. All right, so see if food, the amount of food adds up pretty darn quickly. First time using calamari. Uh, I think I ate this stuff before. I'm always trying new things, even though it's probably, you know, it's obviously not the freshest because it's frozen, but you know, I'm one of those people who goes to different cities and just eats something random and hopefully don't get food poisoning. Speaking of that, I got food poisoning twice in Afghanistan. And I swear to this day it still messed me up. It was awful. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're going to save these packages for later because they're a little you know, annoying to get open. Uh, but we're going to move over here to the brine shrimp. This stuff's pretty, as you can see, this kind of breaks open pretty good. Probably could have bypassed even putting it in the container and went straight to the grinder, but the spirit of making the video. And I have to keep an eye on the timer time on the camera because that thing turns off in 10 minutes. So we got five minutes left.
probably some background music on or something. You guys can hear me sniffling and uh, the water in the background. That's fun. These guys are cut. I'm really surprised at how the deal I got on these. I mean, the Tech Rewards program or whatever is pretty awesome. Quite a bit of food for that price. So I'll definitely have to make the trip again. The only problem is it's like 30 minutes away and driving the full size truck. It's almost work. It's almost, I could do the math and see if it's even worth the gas to drive there with the amount of money I saved. But I did pick up um, refuel, which is the first time I was able to pick it up at that store, which is awesome. Saved about $10 per bottle doing that than opposed to buying it on eBay. So yeah, pretty happy about that. This is the Krill. This seems to be their favorite stuff. I've been feeding this stuff for a while, a couple years between the 125 and the uh, 300. And they really like this stuff, even as is. I think it's because it's, if it's not ground up, they can just kind of run around with it, or yeah, run around, swim around with their fins and uh, kind of mess around with it. But um, we're gonna be grinding it up and they don't even know it's in there. Some perfect little sticks for the grinder. Now I have a feeling, we'll see what it grinds down to. It might be a bigger bowl. This is my first time putting this much. I usually don't do as much, or I used to do a smaller batch, but I ran out and I got people asking for it, so I kind of have to, I'm just gonna throw these chunks in here. Add some bigger pieces. And then we have the uh, blood worm, which I'm actually just gonna cut up. I'm just gonna, this way. I'm just gonna just cut it up into little chunks and leave it in the bag, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Okay. So yeah, you can see it definitely makes a lot of food. I have to, I have to see what the retail on this was. It was definitely over hundred dollars. That's for sure. Um, I usually sell. For a dollar to get the bag for you, they're they're like bags like this, maybe like this thick. I sell them for like twenty bucks a bag. So if I sell one third of what I make, I make my money back, which allows me to feed my fish for free. And in this hobby, you guys know that things add up pretty quickly. So being able to save money on little things like that, that's uh, what it's all about right there. And we're just about done. And like I said, we'll come in and get those guys here in a minute. I usually just take them out and then uh, just put them in one by one. It's easier that way. So we'll come back to that. Of course, we have our nori and our multivitamins. So let me go ahead and clean up a little bit and then we'll start grinding. Okay, so I went ahead and actually took out all the uh, small cubes of food from the package here that I picked up from uh, Petco. Now, the reason why I lay them out here is so I can look around to see if there's any pieces of aluminum. You wanna make sure you don't get that into your food and uh, we're good to go. So uh, what we're gonna do is just start grinding things up. I'm gonna put some background music on here, uh, probably because it's gonna be obnoxiously loud and it's gonna take a little while and I don't think you guys wanna sit through all that stuff. Uh, but we're gonna grind up all this, all this. We have four cups of, uh, or four, four ounce cups of RODI water just in case things kind of get stuck in the grinder. Of course, we're gonna add our nori. So let's go ahead and uh, get started.
you guys can see, it was a pretty messy uh, project. That's why I'm doing it here on my table in the basement. Uh, as you can imagine, it was pretty bad upstairs uh, just being on the counter. So as you guys can see, I ran out of room a little bit more than I expected. So we're going to go ahead and mix some of this up. It's still really frozen too. It's like a, I don't know, it's, it's not a consistency of, uh, I guess a snowball, you want to call it that, but a meatball, a fish meatball, I guess. But we're going to take some of this and put it in this other container so we can add some water to help it eat, help it be a little bit easier to package. And then also add our multivitamin. I kind of want to mix it up a little bit so we get everything that we had. Yeah, that's ice cold. So it's good. So it's not as bad as I thought it was, kind of taking the time to make the video and uh, just be prepared to get messy. It's just going to be one of those things. So when it comes with multivitamin, I just do this. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. And then we're going to add some RODI water just to give it a little bit of a, uh, a watery consistency. Just helps with the whole packaging of it all. So we kind of mix it up, see where we're at. Needs a little bit more water, that one anyways. Add a little bit more. Switch hands because this one's frozen. Alright, All right, I'm going to mix this up and we'll be right back. All right, as you guys can see, after mixing it with water, I was able to combine both containers into one, which mixed them up a little bit more. It's a pretty good consistency. It is ice freaking cold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna package it uh, scoop by scoop into these uh, one quart bags, flatten them out, and then we'll throw them in the freezer. So I'm gonna show you a few of these, and then I'm gonna zoom the camera out and continue the rest, and then just kind of show you what the finished product looks like. So um, you should do two, depending on the consistency. This should be good for that. And I, usually what I do is because you can see how dirty the bags are, I will, uh, so we'll flat them out, get the air out of them, and then before I put them in the freezer, I'll run them underneath some water to get all the fish slime and nastiness off the bag before freezing it. That way they don't freeze together because if the, the bags are wet like that, they will freeze together. So that's technically one, it's not pretty but it's not supposed to be. So let me zoom the camera out and we'll keep going. All right, so we're just finishing up the last couple bags and then we'll uh, get them into the freezer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll probably do an updated version of this if I ever change anything. Say I'm getting uh, different types of uh, fish. Maybe I'm gonna go to a different type of species that doesn't want the nori. I mean, who knows? If something comes up or I find a better or cheaper way to make this, I'll let you guys know, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that's about it. It's pretty messy. But it's great. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bags. And I really only need to sell probably five or six of them to pay for the whole thing. So awesome, great uh, deal for me, for my fish room, and for my fish. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.